Welcome to Newport. As you can see, we are on top of the King Albert Museum, which gives us a stunning view over the landscape here. As you can hear and see, it is a particularly windy day. So it is here that the Belgian army in October 1914 stops the progression of the German army, the fourth German army, by flooding the entire region. So all the fields and the buildings you see here around have been underwater. Not very deep water, it was only a shallow lake, 20 cm deep, but it was about 12 km long and about 2 km wide. So it was enough to stop the progression of the German army. But since it's windy, let's take the lift back to the museum downstairs. See you soon. Here we are in the center of a very special show place. The screen is a semicircular screen, as you can see. And on this screen are projected excerpts of a very long painting. It is the work of the Belgian painter Alfred Bastien, who was a war painter. It took him several years to achieve that huge painting. He started to take notes and drawings and photographs during the war and it's not before 1921 that the whole work was finished. This painting was actually the base for a panorama, meaning a cylindrical painting of astonishing proportions since it was 115 meter long by 14 meter high. Once you stood inside that huge cylindric painting, you got the impression to be immersed in the Battle of Iser. So here we are inside the museum, and uh, in this museum you can see fine pieces of photos taken during the First World War in this area, and also some items of propaganda, like uh, the mannequin piece, the famous statue in Brussels, is watering in the German soldiers. 